can take a blow and shake it off. He wants to join the Blades. Hmm. I have the feeling that every new recruit I take on these days is headed straight for the cemetery. But considering the losses we've suffered, I suppose I can't refuse. Good. Bring him here to me. I'll check him out. We'll do, we'll do that right now. Okay. Have you heard about these villagers who were acting strange? Yes, I've had reports about them. The whole thing stinks if you ask me. Take that one over there for example. The one giving me the fish eye. If we weren't stuck in this place, I'd go over there and put his lights out. I've asked Buffalo to keep an eye on them. If they start getting squirrely, he'll give us a heads up. Fair enough. Captain, have you had any news about Hawk? Are you trying to be funny? Okay. You wanted the Freeborn Blades to help the villagers. As long as we have to stay here. Nothing. Okay, let's go. I'm leaving. A lot of side quests, but first things first. That's at the medical place. We gotta go this way anyway. Uh, maybe not. Talk to you. The captain tells me you're keeping an eye on the villagers that are acting weird. Yes. Look at them. You see that couple? Take a good look at the husband. I've seen livelier zombies. It's like he was dead inside. And they aren't the only ones. There must be at least half a dozen of them. But what bothers me is that if you look closely, you can see they're checking everything out. But what's wrong with them? No idea. They look like they're turning into dead walkers, but the odd thing is how they're spread out. You see how they're placed? They can check out most of the village from where they are. I'm almost certain they're scouting the place out for someone. Since you seem interested, you should go and talk to them. Look, I've marked out their positions on the map. That's annoying. See you later. See you later. I don't want to talk to them. Right. Let's get our recruit, our new recruit, because we can. There we go. Is she gonna stay behind again or is she actually gonna come in this time? I'll wait for you here. Okay. Guess she's still not coming in. Right, let's just see who else is around here. It's upstairs. Prince is dying. Well, I'm happy to see that my talents as a doctor are finally being recognized. Funny. There's no doubt an explosion would cure him of all his ills forever. But I was actually thinking about your connections with the Red Scribes. If you could speak to them, it would save me having the Prince's death on my conscience. I wouldn't exactly call myself a friend of theirs. But yeah, I could always give it a try. I'll leave you here. Oh, there she is. Leave me, Vulcan. I don't want to talk right now. I'm sorry about your dad. She took me by surprise. I didn't have time to protect him. Even though I wish you could have saved him, it's not your fault. It's that witch. Yeah, but it's understandable that she'd be mad at your father. Whatever he did to her, he didn't deserve to die like that. She's a murderer, a monster. 
A monster that maybe just saved your life. Perhaps. But why did my father have her imprisoned? Did he know she would try to kill him? He had us to protect him. And if he hadn't shown up in the middle of the swamp, he'd still be alive. It just doesn't make sense. We have to find out what he was doing. He must have been up to something, because he didn't talk to anyone about it. Not even the people who were supposed to take care of him. What are you accusing him of? Nothing. Nothing really. I'm just asking questions. But I'm going to need your help to find the answers. I will help you. I need to know what happened as much as you. See you later. Do you have any idea how to wake the elf prince up? Unfortunately, I don't. I think I've tried just about every remedy I know, but nothing works. You said just about. I'm guessing that's not by chance. It's true. There's one formula I haven't tried yet. An extremely powerful solution that requires a certain ingredient to make. An ingredient I don't have. Sounds about right. What is it? A very virulent poison secreted by the chrysalid queen. But be careful you don't mix them up with the ones you usually see. I wanted to go looking for them myself, but the villagers stopped me. They say they're really dangerous. It seems they can be found along the road we took to get here. And apparently, they only come out at night. I'll get you some. I'll be going now. More quests. At least I cheered her up. I was wondering where she was. Where's matey? The knight heard talk of a troubling event that happened during the meeting between the mercenary and the steward. Yep. Yeah, the short version is that I have a demon living inside of me. A demon? The knight has never heard of such a creature. Should he be worried? Don't worry about it. The thing inside of me allows me to control fire. Could be pretty useful against the dead walkers, huh? Evidently. But is there not a risk that this creature will devour them as I fight to bear him first. A risk? Not yet. It needs me, and I have it under control. I talked with the captain. He wants to see you. Come on, follow me. Ah. Oh. Is there any limit to two party members or kind of a whole like gang? I wonder, I don't know. This is gonna get annoying. Unless you've got to come back for other people. Oh, it's night time anyway. Drop it. Well, at least it's not loading screens, really. So, oh, on, get down there. Okay, we'll go down this side then. Going and going and going. There we go. Ah, oh. I've got I've got different weapons. So it's been ages. Right, so where were you? Vulcan, I do love our little chats, but shouldn't you be doing something? I am. Captain. This is Ranval. He talks funny, but he can kick ass. So, 
It's Randvall, is it? That is the knight's name. How can he prove his valor to you? All righty then. I'm glad you warned me that he talks a bit funny. Right then, laddie. All you have to do is fight a duel with me. And do your best. It will be an honor to fight with a man who they say has never been beaten. If you think you can flatter me into letting you off lightly, forget about it. Like I said, do your best. The knight hopes that he will be the first to vanquish him. He will not hold back his blows. That's more like it. Let's see what you've got, laddie. <sighs> not bad. Not bad at all. Welcome to the Freeborn Blades, my boy. We were starting to be seriously short of fighters worthy of the name, and you fight like a man. Though well, you're a ways off from beating me. Vulcan! He's your recruit. You can take care of him. Go on. Away with you. Welcome to the Freeborn Blades, friend. Don't take it so hard. The entry fight is a humiliation we all had to go through. Me included. The captain deserves his post and his reputation. He is an exceptional warrior. The knight will be proud to serve under his orders. Wish we saw the fight. After such a combat, the knight will need to rest for a moment. He asks that his friend, and now brother, come to find him when he has need. Fair news. Okay. See you later. Thank you. There's a zombie around here somewhere. Oh no, I need to sleep, don't I, to do a quest. Oh. Flying knee of doom. Oh. Alright, let's go get that witch back. Morning. Damn, that soon went. More metal, gold, a lot of materials. Oh, wish we'd done a little bit. <laughs> she is. Edwin, I need to speak to you. What can I do for you? Well, we need to know everything. I would like to ask you a few questions. Uh, Your knowledge of magic could help me in my investigation. If you'll allow me to accompany you, I am certain I could be of even more use to you. Fair news. Sounds great. Come with me. Right then. Move our quests. Mission action. Kill the prince. So let's do mission in action. So, and then we'll go for kill the prince. And we'll go back to the main quest. So I just gotta be eyeful on my health because I, I, like I said I don't know if she can heal or not. I don't know if I can bring up her skills, but let's see if we can bring up her skills. See what she's actually got. Some points. Great that. Listen to magic.
Uh, so we got range. It's reading what we got. Okay, magic would probably be a good one. It's silly not to use magic, so... Alright. There's a number two. All well, these number ones all over the place, damn. Are you okay? I was just, you know, being polite. Don't feel like you have to give me your whole life story. I go on here. Has thou gone mad? His lips move not. I'm just trying to save face. I hate being ignored. At least a demon said something. Thought you was dead. I've not heard from you for a while. Go into this swamp. Right, let's go see if we can find this guy. They're getting killed on the way. Let's see what we got. Was it any better? No, it looks cool though. It looks a lot better. Don't know, I actually like the look of that. It's not as good as that. That looks a lot better. That looks so cool. Suppressing. Oh, have we got any points here? We all oh, we have four. So what we got? Respect some magic. This and ten. No, I don't need experience. That would be pretty good. Hmm. Uh, this one. There you go. I'm not too worried about crafting. I never use it. Well, that's pretty good. Oh. It's really weird, it's like some things once they're killed to stay dead, so... Shouldn't complain. It's not too far actually, I've spent them quite a bit away. Hey, hey, Vulcan! Over here! There you are. I came across this enormous creature. It's an absolute monster. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, I'd love to catch it. It would make one hell of a trophy, but I'm not sure I can take it down alone. You feel like lending me a hand? Yeah, sure, why not? You know the captain's looking for you? Fuck the captain. Oh, come on, he can wait. The beastie out there can't. It could lose itself in the mist at any moment, and we'd never find it. Okay, then. Considering how excited you are, I'm kind of curious to see the thing. Come on, let's go. That wall looks weird. Ah, yes. I owe you one, brother. Come on. Do you stay as well? Ooh. That's interesting. I wonder what the maximum. I'm going to have to research it up. I hate these things. All right. Mind control. So you mind control it. Mm. 
Nearly dead. Come on. Thank you. I'd never have brought it down without your help. I'll get back to my patrol. Tell the captain not to worry about me. That was close. Nothing. Right, we'll go back then. That was pretty easy as well. I nearly died to the thing, but... Uh, I'm curious how many party members I can have. So I wouldn't mind bringing her and the... Uh, and my healer along, so... But, uh, oh, crap. Now you spawn back, huh? 